what up everybody it's your boy young fizz and welcome back to another tutorial today we are back inside of the machine and i want to focus on the audio plugin today now if you're a loop based producer this plugin is going to be for you so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial and if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button and hit that bell notification so when i drop a new video you are the first one to know about it right away all right so let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial here the number one question I get asked is how do I get audio inside the machine? Um, the easiest way to do this is have a, maybe a, a folder, you know, call it samples. I got mine here and um, you just want to click and drag the sample right here to sound slot number one. All right. And notice it is in the wave format. Make sure you guys are using wave. I feel like if you're not using wave, then it probably is not going to work. They haven't adapted to the MP3 um format yet and plus wave sounds a lot better when you're working with audio in its rawest form so just just use wave and that's going to make your life a lot easier all right so the next thing you notice is right now you can't see the audio like i said we want to we want to use the audio plugin and to do that we want to go ahead and switch this here to the audio so let me go ahead and just make this full screen get that out the way and we're going to go ahead and go to um we're going to click the sampler and we're going to go ahead and click audio all right, so that's gonna turn it into the audio plugin there, all right? So I'm just gonna come down here, I'm gonna click here and I'm just gonna zoom out. Let's go ahead and play the sample just so we can know what we're working with. It sounds all right, right? It sounds, it sounds good. But right now I notice it to me, it just sounds slow and dragging. Right now it's playing at 120, but machine says the sample, the original samples is at 150 here, or 151. So we're looking here and it says 151, we're at 120. So let's just go ahead and fix our sample to be 151 and play it back. All right, so that's cool, right? Now I'm gonna go over some of the controls, but real quick, I just wanna do some, some light maintenance here. All right, so first things first, we also see that right now it says eight. I know for a fact this sample is 16. So I wanna go ahead and just change that to 16 come down here click and I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out again so we can see everything all right so cool so now I'm looking at a 16 uh, bar loop here all right so the length here basically just specifies it's just saying 64 you can adjust this if you want this is just in case like to say for example that machine accidentally you know miscalculated something you can adjust this and you know it'll play you know some somewhat in tune here or if you're really dope you can you can change this you know and you click and drag and insert like um you know different numbers and, and and play something random and get a cool effect out of it so that's just like a little trick you know i actually actually kind of discovered that by accident and that's the the, the luxury of producing and you know just experimenting so i'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead and change this back to 64. all right so it's perfect all right so now let's go ahead and edit the sample we want to go to our sample editor here and we want to go ahead and basically we want to go to edit here and and then we want to normalize it and that's just going to bring the level up to where it should be all right so now we can have now we see like this nice big sample across the screen all right so that looks pretty good here and let's go over some of the controls now all right so the first things uh first here we got the loop mode and then we have the gate mode okay so each um, to me has its own benefits the loop mode is is that if you're a producer and you're just ready to get in here and drag in You know hella loops and you just want to just get producing with a bunch of loops and drums and stuff pre-made This this is this is for you right here So say for example, you know, I got this this, this dope piano loop and I just want to come in here And then, you know, I'm, I'm just ready to produce, you know, I got this shaker loop I got this drum loop. I got all type of loops. And you just want to drag that in you can come in here and and do just that So let me go ahead and see if I can find a, a drum loop here um let me see if i can find let's just type in drums here maybe drum loop let me see let me see what i can find here all right so let's just let's just pick up some loops all right so yeah let's just let's just use that drum loop all right, so like I said, for this one here, we're going to go ahead and just click and drag this right here. And as you see, it already kind of popped in. Let's go ahead and play it. All 
All right, so I don't like that loop. Let's go ahead and pick something else here. All right, so let's just go with something generic. And so, I mean, that's what that pretty much does for you there. So like if you're a loop based producer, you just want to go in here and just start dragging loops in. You can certainly do just that, which makes it easy for creating. So first thing I'm going to drag this in and see what happens here. All right, so yeah, that's that's pretty much that there. So I'm just going to go ahead and reset this and get out of there. So that's what loop mode um, basically does there when you're working inside the audio module there. All right, so say for example, you want to change the, the tune of the sample, but you don't want to change the tempo. Changing the tune is just like changing the pitch. So let's say I want to pitch this down like some semitones, so eight semitones here. So you're able to do just that, which is pretty cool from right here. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and double click that. It's going to bring it back to its original state. So the stretch mode is the default here, right? So say, for example, that you want to change the tempo and you want to change the pitch. You want to be in this mode here, which is the re-pitch mode. So say, for example, I change the tempo to, um, let's do something dramatic like 80. Now let's play it. So anytime you change the tempo for the session, the pitch is also going to change too. So let's go to the other end of the spectrum and just hit 200. So that is to me pretty, pretty cool there just to be able to, you know, change the tempo and the pitch all in one. And then you have this other mode called format. And I don't really use this mode at all. I still got to experiment with it, but you know, you can come in here, drag in vocals and other like percussive elements, and then you can kind of change it from there and, and mess with, you know, like the tune here again. And it just kind of gives it a different texture to it. So that is pretty much that there. All right, so I've talked about the loop mode. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the gate mode. All right, so being in gate mode is pretty cool. So you can come in here and you can uh, hit the E tool, which is going to make you, you know, give you that brush ability. I'm going to come in here and play exactly what I want to hear. So let's go ahead and play that. So you're just basically highlighting what you want to hear, which is pretty cool. So like, say, for example, if you're, you know, you're, you're composing your song, what you could really do with this is, you know, so say, for example, you know how like sometimes a beat cuts off, um, you know, at the, at the last minute. So it'll, it'll be playing. Let me go ahead and play it back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The beat will be playing, right? Do, 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 do. Then you have your other instruments. And then it'll cut off at this last bar here. And so like the beat will drop right there, which is pretty dope. So this is the audio plugin. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy Young Fizz. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications. And if you have any questions or any future videos that you want to see inside a machine, please be sure to uh, drop a comment below. I want to thank everybody for watching again. It's your boy Young Fizz, aka Mr. Dope Status on Instagram. We'll see you next time. We out.